got to consider was there dissipation of assets. In 2006, it's not unusual for one of, one of the parties to have an account offshore. People love offshore accounts. They get to talk at cocktail parties about my offshore account and my credit card that pays, uh, pays for my charges has assets offshore to cover it. Internal Revenue Service takes a dim view of that, especially if you're trying to not include income from the offshore accounts on your tax returns. That was a big tool being sold by certain financial institutions in the mid-90s. Service cracked down on it a few years ago. But dissipation is going to be an emerging area in family law that's going to explode for forensic accountants over the next 10 years, without a doubt. Prior to three years ago, we hardly had any dissipation cases, appellate cases, just, uh, decided by the Court of Appeals. Now we have half a dozen very serious, long explanations of what is and what is not dissipation in Tennessee. I think we're going to see that trend continue over the next 10 years. And uh, keep that in the back of your mind. Dissipation, typically, an obvious example of dissipation in Memphis, gambling throwing money away, wasting money. Another one may be giving money away, transferring asset, bad deals to your brother-in-law. Your Well, not your brother-in-law, your, your brother or your cousin or your father. We had recently had a uh, uh, case in, in, in Shelby County that went up to the Court of Appeals involving a business, an entire business was dissipated and the grandfather came in and, and bought it from the marital estate. The court decided that half of that purchase price needed to come back into the estate in addition to several hundred thousand dollars that had been dissipated through bad and poor business practices. Dissipation again is another great area that certified public accountants can get involved.